What's up, y'all? I'm coming on here dirty, covered in neem. Um, I'm not going to be showing y'all me washing my hair because I'm really not trying any new products. But I'm thinking after I wash my hair and everything that I'm going to try a wash and go. I haven't tried a wash and go on my hair in years. Years, years, years. So, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a wash and go on my hair. And hopefully it turn out right because that's the only style that I'm planning on wearing for the whole week for work next week. And the only reason why I'm even considering doing a wash and go is because it's Sunday and I'm just not washing my hair when I usually wash my hair on Fridays. And I just feel like I don't have enough time to really style my hair and let it stretch out and everything for a twist out or anything for work next week. So, we gonna dabble in a wash and go. I've been watching a lot of videos on them and I think I got it figured out. Hopefully, I don't have too, too much shrinkage, but I know I'm gonna have some shrinkage. Hopefully, I don't have no flaking. So, I'm going to show you the products that I'm planning on using for this wash and go. So, from Nature's Little Secret, I have their Flaxy Curly Custard. Now, I got the original formula before she reformulated and made it thicker. So, I got the original formula. But some people said that um, it still is good. Uh, I don't know how the hold is going to be. I don't know. I'm just experimenting with shit. Just trying shit out. And for my leave-in, I kind of want to use this classy and knotless conditioning cleanser. Because it's really moisturizing. But I'm not going to use it. Okay, for my leave-in, I'm going to be using the She Scented Pomegranate Pear Moisture Milk. So, I'm going to use this as my leave-in to put under that or whatever. And I'm probably going to seal it in with a oil because I live in Arizona, a.k.a. the desert. And it's pretty dry and I don't want my head to be dry out and crispy and start breaking and get a bunch of single-strand knots and all that stuff we don't like. So, that is what I'm going to be trying to do. I'm going to try my hand at a wash and go with the Nature's Little Secret Flaxseed Curly Custard, the original formula. And I'm going to use She Scented's Pomegranate Pear Moisture Milk as my leave-in. And for my oil, for my oil, I'm going to be using the Pomegranate Passion Hair Elixir by Allocate Naturals. This oil is okay. Not my favorite. I wouldn't repurchase it, but it does do a good job at sealing in moisture. It's a nice light oil, and I'm just trying to use it up. So, let me finish the rest of my wash day, and then I'm going to come on when I'm ready to start applying the gel and the leave-in to get ready for this wash and go. Wish me luck, y'all, because your girl is going to need it. I have finished washing my hair. I detangled it, and I got my leave-in in there with oil. So that's all that's in my hair right now. And just looking at the amount of shrinkage I have already, I don't think I'm going to be feeling this wash and go. But let's go ahead and get started because I've already committed to this style for next week. And ignore the hair under my armpits. No plans on shaving anytime soon. <laughs> if I'm keeping it real. Okay. And I do have a spray bottle with some water in it. Because my hair dries really quickly. So I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of water. 
here's the product let me show you what it looks like okay it's loose it's actually really loose uh oh I'm dropping some of it but it's really really loose I hope it can hold my hair oh okay I should have did a test to see if it was gonna mix well with my leave-in but I don't really like the scent of it and it feels kind of like it's sucking the moisture out of my hair I'm put some more on it's really watery and ignore the stains on my shirt y'all that's from the neem that I put on my head and of course you know it makes you look kind of nasty so it's kind of defining my hair it's kind of defining my hair a little bit a little bit it doesn't have any slip and when I put it on my hair it feels like I'm putting water on my hair it doesn't feel like I'm really putting anything on my hair It's very messy. It's very messy. I'm really hoping that this dries clear because when I tell y'all I'm going in with this product, I mean, I'm going in. So I really see why she felt the need to reformulate it and make it thicker because it's literally rolling around everywhere. It's rolling everywhere. Okay. I have applied the product all over my head. And it's pretty white. And it's making me kind of nervous. Let me show you the back. So this is what the back is looking like. And I'm... So my head is about 90% dry, but there's already trouble a mist, okay? This is a fail, and I'm gonna tell you why. This part where you see all this white is 100% dry, 100% dry, and those are 100% flakes. So, fail 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 this is going to turn into a roll in tuck style for the rest of the week I don't know if you can hear the crunch the head is dry and I have a bunch of flakes y'all a bunch of flakes and I can't go to work like this I'm so glad I did this wash and go early in the day and I didn't have to wake up tomorrow and be like surprise we got snow in Arizona no I'm not about that life period so I am going to finesse this into something else and I don't know I'm not gonna give up on washing goes because I got a lot of gel although I might just use them to do other types of styles because this was a lot of work this was a lot of work and i used this whole thing maybe that's my problem maybe maybe i used too much i don't know but it shouldn't dry like this like mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. and i refuse to wash my hair again so I'm going to throw that in my empties box and move.
move on to another hairstyle. I tried. I tried to use that gel for a wash and go, and it was a fail for me. Although I know there are some success stories out there, I just don't happen to be one of them. Maybe, maybe I'll try wash and go again at a later day. Maybe when my hair is longer. Maybe with a stronger gel. But there is crunch. Like this gel has crunch. It just was really loose and really wasn't weighing my hair down. So I felt like I needed to use more, which it made me use 12 ounces of gel on this little bit of hair I got. I don't know. Somewhere things took a turn for the worse. I'm not sure. 